Hello everyone, it's Editing Edo, and before we get into the special video, please check out my fourth podcast episode of Talking Fun with Edo, where I talk about the rare Pokemon of Hello Project, Miyoshi Chinatsu. Link in the description below. And now enjoy the show and see you there. Bye! Mina Ohio. And I am back with a new video. Oh, hey everyone, it's Edo4 back at it again with another video for the seventh Japanese report of. TNC Bombard of my 60th video special. So, as always, I'm going to go through the beginning, through the current of Tayo and Cisco Moon the best way I can, and speak Japanese on that note too. So, let's begin the evening story. This story starts off with our four members, starting with Miho Shinda, the leader, who was born on May the 18th in 1974 and from Tokyo, Japan. Sugi is our second member, Atsuko Inaba, born in 1974 on the 13th of March and is from Osaka, Suta, Japan. Third member, Ruru Honda, from Leoni, Shenyang, China, and born on the 18th of March in 1976. Saigoni, the fourth and final member, named Miwa Komo Minato, born in Fukushima, Japan, on the February 15th, 1977. Everyone definitely had different careers before being in a group together, such as Miho. She was in gymnastic and cheerleading from 1987 to 1997 while being in the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, Korea at age 16. Atsuko was in an idol group called Osaka Performance Doll from Tokyo Performance Doll from 1993 to 1996. Ruru has been interested in music for a long time and has been singing into the Japanese scene since 1993. Lastly, Miwa has been singing folk songs for a long period of time. And now we move on to the next chapter of... How did they meet each other? We now go on to the man, the myth, the vision that needs no introduction, Tunkun. We're now starting our story off to the end of 1998 and starting it for the last of the 90s, 1999. At this point, Tunkun's first group and second project, Morning Musume, third single, Aite, Hold On Me, Somebody or Someone Hold On Me, released on September the 9th of 1998, won number one spot on the charts, making it the group's number one hit, but it wouldn't be the last. While starring in their very first movie, Morning Cop, with Heike Michio, that won 18th place on the charts and theaters, a month earlier before their third single, along with Heike's fourth single translated as But I Love You Too Much, on the top, of 100th of the 95th place and Tampopo's first single Last Kiss winning number two and becoming the soundtrack for the anime Sorceress Stabber Orphan along with Yuko Nakazawa starting her career too. I believe at this point Tunkun had an idea in his head to go global when Morning Musume went to Shanghai. So he has set up auditions again in Japan, Hawaii, and San Francisco, California, which leads us to TNC. And this, my friends, is not only how TNC met, but also brings us to the next chapter of the discography. 
行きましょうウナオグニッチスターオフ with their first single called Tsutsuki to Taiyo which is the moon and sun released on the 21st of April in 1999 this was Tunkun's fourth project of Hello Project he has worked on It won fourth place gold on the charts, along with the commercial for the cell phone company DDI Pocket. The second single is Gotta Make It Kara, which stands for Rattling or Gotta Make It Love, on June the 23rd and made it to another gold record place on the 6th. The third single in space, Uchu De. La Tata made it to the ninth place and released on the 28th of July. This single is the first time that Ruru has spoken Chinese, but wouldn't be the last for later to come. The fourth single, Every Day, Everywhere, in stores on August the 23rd and put on the 23rd place. The second to last song for their year of 1999 for their first album is the fifth single, Magic of Love, on the 29th of September and placed on the 16th place on the charts. The first album, Tayo and Cisco Moon One, or Ichi, released in the gold place of number three in the 27th of October, a month before Magic of Love. And their sixth single coming up. The last single released in 1999 is translated as Round Sun Winter Version, placed on the winter of December the 8th, and made it to the 25th place on the Ocon charts, along with their first two concerts with Zetima as well. Now let's move on to the 21st century. So before we move on to the last projects of TNC in the start of 2000, Tunkun at this point had enough members to not only make Hello Project, their own television show on TV Tokyo called Hello Morning, but now a summer project called Shuffles. Their last demo show was called Garage. Miho was in Red 4. Akagami, that won second place. Ruru was in Kiro 5, Yellow, won third place. And Atsuko and Miwa were in Blue 7, Ario, and won the fourth place on the charts. Their second to last single is called Don't Stop in Love, starting on the 19th of April in 2000 and placed on the 23rd place on the charts. Lastly, Their eighth and final single, Hey, Midday Swordsman, in stores on July the 19th and got to be on the 31st place on the chart. The final touches for this chapter is that they were in a movie with Country Musume. Their second album, called Second Stage, came out on the 27th of September while also being put on the 23rd place on the chart. And made two concert specials before they have graduated, which brings us to our next chapter The Aftermath. <music> to start off this chapter, Miho continued back to be a gymnast for not only for the 2004 Olympics, but also in Sasuke. Known in the US as Ninja Warrior as a contestant. Atsuko continued in Hello Project until 2009, same as Miwa. And lastly, Ruro, she has w e n t back to her birthplace and released four of her own solo albums from 2001 to 2008. To make this last part of this story very special before we end the story of TNC. Is that they have their own reunion tour in 2009 and 10 years later in 2019 too, while also starting a family. And now, why do I like Sun and Cisco Moon? Alright, l e t s h a v e a round of applause for Cisco Moon. I really like. 
like this group because they were the first group of Hello Project along with Coconuts Musume that broke the international barriers of Japanese music, especially since they were all different from one another. Also, some more fun facts to share with you all is the Cisco Moon part of their name is because they were from California, San Francisco in America from the audition. And during the sixth single, Miwa needed to practice more on her dancing for the New Year's of 2000. And then she came back, and that's why from that point, we have gotten the name of TNC Bombar. Now, as usual, I'm going to speak in Japanese on how I first found the group. Hajimete kita. Tayo to Siskumunga Nijuni Q Aki Promotion video no got to make it love Daisuki Minaga Karega Chao Su Toki American Group Wa Bone Thugs and Harmony Omoi Dasiru Tanoshi Mitai Disho Max Zuto Omoi dashta mo TNC debut shita Hijoni chikai watashi ni nisai tanjo bi Shigatsu ni ju nichi ni watashi wa segen shita TNC bomba hi ego de On April the 21st I declare TNC bomba day ego de one of the best memories I love from them is the moment when I was going to Full Cell in 2017. It was when me and my dad, we were watching an episode of them on a show called Asian. And this will be, and this is where I'm going to try my best to explain it further. On this episode of Asian in 1999, February, and March, four of the members individually went to America to try to explore different sounds and vocals from their producer, Tunkun, while they did the commercial for DDI Pocket. If I can remember correctly, Ruru went to Chicago, Miwa went to Detroit, Miho went to... Tennessee and Asuka went to Atlanta, Georgia, where me and my family were still living at, at the time. My favorite part is when Ruru told her instructor that she didn't sleep, so that's why she lost her voice. But her instructor was not only worried, but gave her a list of things to improve her vocals. One of them is sleep. Unfortunately, I cannot find this episode, and I remember also watching this episode with English subtitles, but if anybody out there can find it, please comment down below with or without subtitles to send to me. Thank you, and now for the shoutouts. <laughs> Our shoutouts for this special episode goes to Jungles of Language, Kim Seti, Atsura Music, The Morgue Verse, Matt Attack, Drew Bree, Nara Dunn, Perry Analozzi, Team 445, Smart Link, Jared. And also to the legendary Korean group Rong Ha and Rong Hong, and most importantly to TNC Bumbar. Thank you all for watching this episode, along with my fourth podcast episode of Talking Fun with Edo. Another thing I like to share with you guys before I leave is earlier this year, when the 22nd anniversary of TNC was on Twitter. I retweeted the Asian episode that I mentioned earlier, and they liked my tweet. So I definitely believe that they might just love this video too. 
Coming up soon is the Taiwanese group SHE Day, along with the fifth episode of my podcast. And the next video also coming soon with an anniversary. And the next episode is the Japanese band called Judy and Mary. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, Samina Sai. And I will see you all next time. With another ah, I messed up on the wow. That's first. While they have done the commercial for DDI at age sixteen, my favorite moment of this episode is when Ruru told her instructorship. Mm. Lastly, they, they're... She, she got Sydney Juni need. Lastly, Miwa is folk song. My favorite part of this episode is where Ruru told her instruction. Ah, ah, ah. My, the final touches to put on this chapter was they were in a movie with coconut um, 